welcome ladies and gentlemen and gamers to another episode from intrinsic i'm really excited we're gonna be working here this is the house with a balcony i want a balcony that looks off to this side and things like that and the fact that it's kind of here i am leaning toward a diagonal house um don't know if it's exactly gonna happen as planned might as well get these things set down this area over here is just gonna be our little workshop i don't i don't know if it's gonna go exactly as i would like I don't think we need that many blocks. I'm not going for the... I'm going for another tall er house. Um, it's not gonna... You'll see. I'm thinking of having a balcony on a long side on this side. So I think we just need to... We need to decide on size. Which for me to do that, it doesn't look diagonal because it's not yet. Um, if we did a 7 by 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh... That might... Actually, I think this can fit. Oh, it's going to be close. But I think it can fit. Uh, let's go with a three rule. Let's go with a three rule. So, one, two, three. Off to the side. One, two, three. And that's where the end would be. So, we're able to work with it just like that. And then here, it would be... Let's just get rid of you. Since this is a nine... We're able to work with that real easy. Oh, I missed diagonals. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <clears throat> and then which side? This one's a little bit. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And right around here is where that should stop. So let's see if that's right. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, so this is where our diagonal house is going to be. I want a balcony off to this side. Don't fully know how that's going to look quite yet. Um, probably going to be a block there and there to be our supports, probably. And it might be moved in a little bit. We'll find out. It's going to be... It, it'll be good. It'll be good. Um, let's grab some spruce. I know this is kind of like we're hopping right into this one. We aren't really... We were not going slow with this. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna jump over to a time lapse in a moment here. I just want to show how I get these things set up because diagonal houses is something I think I'm pretty good at figuring this stuff out. Um, I have a mathematical mindset, so we're gonna be building this up. I'm gonna hop into a time lapse and we're gonna do some fancy fancy stuff. I'm gonna get rid of these blocks for now. We're gonna. I don't think the balcony is gonna be connected to the ground floor. It might have a couple supports like we do with the chain right here or something like that, but it might not even have that much. But let's go find out and let's see how this turns out. So, this is what the house is looking like. I think I did well with the diagonal, and I've also kind of started on the balcony. Um, I just put in the framework a little bit, and <clears throat> I think this is going to give us a good idea. So, it's always important to remember we're on a diagonal, build a diagonal balcony, but <clears throat> we need to also decide how far into this does this uh, cut in. Because the upstairs here, I'm, I want it to be able to be a small second story like maybe a where it'd be a bedroom or something like that um but for now what i know needs to happen is we need to clear out well actually wait a second right okay that goes back um little working with this like in diagonal like that just now that clip that we just had of um me building the roof here that was the third attempt like it was messy trying to make that uh, it's always worth it, but it it was messy. So, let's just get a bunch of these, head right on back. This here, I'm really excited, because I think we're able to do something that's able to be fun, able to be nice. Uh, we just gotta... I think if we do this... Let's just, let's just get it going. We'll 
We'll take out all of this stuff here. And that might be enough. I do not know. How's that feeling? How's that looking? Yeah, I went a block too low. Um, one, two, three. And that one goes there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, four. Okay, okay. Crud. So I think this is where we're going to have these things be and stuff like that. We probably will... I want this balcony to connect well to the house itself. And we might actually do that by building another roof kind of going along this way. But it will be difficult because we can't actually see where things are underneath. Um, so we'll have to base off this most likely. So if we start it here, and we'll just turn this one like... Well, I was hoping I'd pick that up like this. We can do something like... The Actually, I think, what if we did a short roof? Like, something just like this. One. Yeah, we'll do it from here. I'm willing to bet that at this point. I know that's not actually what the, no, that is what the roof is made out of. I don't know yeah, things. I'm out of, I, this isn't going well. So you know it's good. Better. It's something like this. We're able to have this connect to the rest of this with some dark oak slab stairs things of that nature so that connects that connects this will connect here and this will simply just go over more i'm thinking maybe maybe we gotta kind of we gotta do some experiment to be able to get this one right and it's gonna it, there's there's gonna be some tests there's gonna be some trials tribulations it's not gonna come easy but if we do something like this Tear that out. And I'm gonna bet. If we do just simply that, get rid of that one for an arch, we can have this then be the face of the building. So, ooh, we're running out of dark oak. I should just have my inventory full of stuff, huh? All right, there we go. And if we just bring this up here, I think that will work possibly. I think we need that also maybe. I'm kind of I'm debating back and forth like should we have it go out this way, kind of meet up with this and maybe have a peak meet this. I just don't I don't know. I don't know. Um from this side, this is where this would be. This would be the upstairs little room. And I actually there's part of me that's thinking might modify this to actually be square, but also, you know, I it works well, like it's a diagonal build, might just just keep it diagonal. I like to go back and forth and debate things sometimes. But I'm something really important, just fill in those little areas. This still feels diagonal, but it's just no longer has all of those like weird little gaps and stuff like that. And we're gonna pick our height in that. Yeah, that's a stair, so we can't mess with that necessarily. But one thing I know, we can fill in these. And most likely we're gonna slab up some of this. That, yeah, that can go. I'm just going around checking things. What's this? Can I get rid of the oh, that? Well, we're this is where the upstairs is gonna be. I think this will be nice as a little bedroom and maybe a small little like. Maybe there's some flowers, Garni, I don't know. Downstairs, a little more welcoming area. And over here, we can put in some spruce fencing or something like that. And you can just, like, just just imagine. This was your house, and you could walk out. And this was your view. I think that'd be good. Let me get some more stuff, make things look a little bit better, and we're going to get stuff going. I want to get back and show what we did, but I heard about a little... I'm happy. I'm very happy. That is absolutely awesome. And actually, as you can tell, we uh, we kind of have a need in the shopping district right now. Can I just say, Tyler, you did a great job on this barn, man. I think this is coming along pretty well. Um, I feel like this is one of those things where it's just like, you need to just experience it the way that it was intended, you know? So we have the all the fences up there right now. I think the I think everything's looking pretty good as of late. Um, let's head on inside. Inside. All right, 
I, I think it looks good though, so let's go on over here as we intended and just get another good look at it. So I think this is one of those things that like, yeah, this side you can't even really tell, which I think makes it look very unique because it's one of those from one side, it's very clearly like the main features of the balcony, but the other side just looks like a regular old house. And we're probably going to do something with the end caps, you know, trying to make them look a little more Viking-esque, you know, this goes out my ways, that has a duck. You know, might want, might want to try to do something that makes it look a little bit more interesting. But yeah, I like it. Obviously, the interior here needs some work. And I brought some glass along. I want to put in a couple windows on the downstairs and the upstairs. You know, we, we're not going to exactly be popping in any windows or anything like that. But I think this just needs a little bit of work. And I think I'm going to do this mostly off camera. So I will be back. And here it is. I think it looks pretty good. So let's just go around really quick. Obviously, a lot of paintings, a lot of plants. I thought this would be a good bar idea and I was trying to think of like obviously right here your legs don't fit through but I was thinking of the idea of like maybe these should be turned I'm not entirely sure but just the idea of you'd be sitting here on top of this and your feet would dangle down by here but you know we're in a tight area a uh, little carpet I thought this would be a good idea try to make a blue thing so there's blue in this one there's obviously a lot of blue 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 these it's either this one like literally the options for this is that or this guy and I I don't like this guy. Also, I always get this guy. Um, so that's why we went down here, decided to add a little bit other colors. This kind of goes with the green over here. And this is a nice pop over here, because look, it just draws your eye in. I like it. Also, bushes. And up here, it's a similar deal. So we got a little like floor carpet around the very bottom, a um, couple bushes. We got a uh, cactus, you know, it just, I feel like it ties us together. This is the only thing I'm a little unsure about. I was thinking of going to compost bin with a trap door on top, but I think this looks nice and this is trying to give a little bit of TV vibes, but hey, I'm okay with it. I think it looks really good. What we're going to do next is down here. I want to add a fire pit area, basically. Um, only thing is, where's the access? So I got to think. Okay, I came to a conclusion. More path. And also, we are going to change up these. Eh, why not one of these? Two? Like, does I don't want it to be perfectly square. That's the only reason. And let's pop on some oak stairs. These will be our seats. And after that, we're just gonna pop in some of these. So let's put in a basalt. You have a very special place right now, actually. I just realized where that needs to go, and I don't know how to say it. So you guys just gotta watch for a second. So let's get a gravel, maybe here, uh, there. Let's maybe get a cobblestone that's kind of deteriorated a little bit more, some cracked stone. Let's put this around a little bit. Act like it was maybe made of stone brick originally, but it's kind of fallen to the wayside after some time. How's that look? I think that looks all right. This is what I thought that would result. the detail the tiny detail now there will always be permanent smoke billowing right here but i'm okay with that i feel like this looks really good for a tiny little area i think it also might need a little something something do i have it yep i always have crafting benches give me just i'll take an oak fence please thank you just that Yes. Yep, okay. This needs this. I've decided. Oh, get to the toolbar, darn it. This needs this, I think. It just adds a little something, you know? That's And that's all we're really looking for with these things. I, this doesn't need torches. It has a campfire. Um, I don't see anything else in here that will be really... Oh, I... Hang on, let me look at this. You. Yeah, of course, dirt. Let's add a little there, and better. Okay, I think this is looking good. We're gonna add in a couple like paths, just make it look a little muddied up. You know, it's not ideal. Oh, hello there, how are you? Wow, I'm impressed with you. You deserve to die by spoonage. I think this looks really good. I, I like the way that looks, the way it presents itself. Let's real quick change that out and do we have we must have a yes we do there, just because it, it needs to be right i think this looks really good though i think now it just comes to outdoor exterior like detailing but even then i think we're just gonna put in a few like 
leaf blocks and maybe call it good because like this just it's working you know just something like that there there here no that can't be there <laughs> I was thinking like maybe a cool little time no it is incorrect That honestly might be it. That really might be. I just love this area, got Like Jeff, Tile, you did a fantastic job. Well, let's see how we did. Like that just fits. We might want to put up a. Actually, no, because that's not a flower garden. That's like a little campfire area. So the idea of just like husband and wife. Husband owns like the little tavern downstairs. That was my thought, by the way. This is like a bar tavern kind of deal wife maybe handles like the finances or is like maybe she's the face of the bar and he's like the guy that like originally started and found out she has a better personality was able to build in this balcony so they can relax we like a chair just a chair we might get some signs on that i kind of like the idea i don't like the way signs look for medieval chairs on the side but like this up here like it looks good this is all nice it'll look at the beautiful community garden and stuff like that but then when the end of the day comes and we'll just do something like this real quick ah that i need a course dirt i'm like legally obligated when i make a path to like make the path it can't just be half done yeah we need to do that like you know take a seat with some friends relax Enjoy some mead, have a good talk. I, I, I like this. I really, really like this. And I hope you guys do too. This is starting to really come together, I think. <clears throat> Obviously, we have a lot more to do. We have a few more platforms and different areas and stuff like that. We're probably going to have to do two next episodes. Just the diagonal house, you know, it takes a minute, you know? And it's an art form, but I want to get to this side, see how it looks. This is definitely a tweak side. I'll be honest. I'm not afraid to admit that. We might see if we can pop in some details over here at some point. I don't know. <clears throat> Actually, do we have trapdoors here with us? Yeah, we can make them. Uh, give me just a moment. What if we just went over here? Because this doesn't have anything in it. Yeah, that adds a little something, you know, it makes it a little darker, has a little bit of intrigue, just adds a little bit. It's nothing crazy on this side, we might, I like, uh, I kind of want to get more up there just to break it up, but that's not for today. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, for giving a like, thumbs up, or whatever you might do. I just said the same thing twice, but with different words. Not commenting though, definitely not commenting. But thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying the intrinsic content. I am super pumped. Season 3 is right around the corner, but that means we need to get Season 2 wrapped up. Thank you guys so much for everything you do, and we'll see you guys back here sometime soon with the next one. Goodbye!